Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Airships. This is a game, believe it or not, about airships. <laughs> I know, I know, a game like airships, you would really expect it to be about cutting grass or cake or something. But no, it is about building airships, flying airships and fighting with airships. I'm going to show you a little bit of it and I do mean it a little bit because it is in early access. It's actually, as you can see at the top there, a game prototype. So um, yeah, I don't know how far this is, you know, we're going to go with this, but uh, yeah, I just want to show you a little bit of it because it's quite interesting, something I've known about for a couple of months, I think, and uh, finally I've got the chance to show it off a little. So as I said, early access uh, release 3.3, so typical disclaimers of it not being finished, everything is subject to change, all that sort of thing, apply. It may even not be finished, who knows, but the links are in the description so you can check it out. Right, new game. And we're going to have our small, this is, we need to pick our, our crest, sort of our coat of arms, and our... <laughs> Our town, which is uh, Dingleton, which is that's fine. That's our sort of main starting point. We're just going to random arms, coat of arms. That's a uh, stable wrench, and we get 50% faster. You can make your own coat of arms, we're not going to bother. Income that's cannons fire twice as accurate. Income from cities, wooden armor is better. Steel absorbs 50% more damage. Injury crew have full speed. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going until we get all cannons twice as accurate. Uh... Oh, ship ready for commands twice as fast. That sounded good. See if we can get that again. I mean, I could just go to edit and... Oh, good grief. You guys tell me we can make these? We can change... Oh, good grief, we can as well. How about dragon? Dragon and we want... What the hell? Look, you can make all... Yeah, there we go. That's just a dragon and we're going to have it black and white. Actually, we're going to have it white on black. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Right. And we will have our... Yeah, we'll have that. So, save and quit. And dragon costs and training time halved. You can get dragons? I had no idea. Uh, edit arms. Actually, I don't want that one. I want... Let's have a quick look. No bonus implemented yet. Yeah, you can't. You can't. I just put... I saw the dragon and said, a dragon. Wow! Guess what? You can't get it. Let's have the one that is ships ready for commands twice as fast. The wheel. There we go. Save and quit. And we're going to start. So here we go, we start off at the bottom here, you can see we have our main city here, and it has a small shipyard in it, and we can do a couple of things, we can create a ship, we can build a ship, and we can build defences as well. We also have our sort of fleet stroke raiding party thing there, as you can see, HMS uh, divider, and we can retrofit it, uh, or refit it rather, or we can scrap it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to our main area here, and we're going to go to create ship. So we can create our ship okay now at the moment I'm not entirely sure exactly what you need but the general rule of thumb is if this thing at the top right says no it doesn't have any errors in you're probably all right so select a module and click it so what we need first is the suspendium chamber now the suspendium chamber is the thing that keeps you afloat the airships in the game don't have the typical balloon above you to keep you or basically the the flotation device or whatever to keep you up into the air it actually has this thing called suspend which is a magical thing that when you put it in water or something it suspends you in the air but there anyway, the suspendium chamber so we have no engines no coal no crew so let's sort that out let's put a coal store there let's have a corridor running like so and let us have a propeller at the back like so in fact I probably don't need that big propeller there that's a fairly large propeller small propeller I think will do it nicely I think we'll put it just there really there you go. Our speed is going to be very slow. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a bit of a, a bit of a dreadnought type thing. Just basically guns, bristle it with guns on the front. And not actually, when I mean guns, I mean cannon, because cannon are awesome. But uh, we'll do that later. We need a ammo store, so I'm going to put an ammo store there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run a corridor right down the center like so, so we can have everything connected. So that is our ammo store. We also need, what's a machine shop? Near exhaustible supply of parts carefully organized. I think a repair bay is going to be in order. We'll have a repair bay there. We will have a fire point because it is very, very important. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to delete that and put a fire point there rather instead and uh, we'll ammo store there and then we need a, a fire door fire door oh yeah fire door is slightly it's a slightly tougher version of these things here we're not going to bother with that really i know we should but we're not going to bother uh bridge we need a bridge so we're going to put the bridge up top like so and we're going to connect it up with a corridor small keel reinforce the ship ah, very nice we might put that down the bottom what else do we need? Maybe another propeller. 
another propeller back there just to keep us going. In fact, can I just get rid of them and put a large propeller on the back? We can, but it's also a little bit costly, but it's probably going to be better. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Right, what else do we need? Oh, yes, that's right. That's right, we have our bridge. We don't have any people to crew the thing, so we're going to go quarters, quarters there, and quarters there. So we now have enough crew on this. So minimum crew of six, recommend a crew of ten. We now have 24 crew on this thing, so more than we will need at the moment. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of that. No, no, I want that bit. I want... A corridor going up like so and what can I fit in that little bit there a berth a bridge cockpit we don't need any of them small suspendium chamber let's have a small do we need a small suspendium chamber our lift is 2850 we only weigh 1148 our ceiling what's our ceiling on this thing our ceiling uh, is 1000 uh, sorry 138 meters so it's not bad it's not bad I might get rid of that I'll see what else we can put in there what else grenades Massive amount of damage at close range. Ah, you need to get them right at the front. Cannon. Tear through most armor. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. <coughs> think that'll do it. Uh, no, what we'll do, we're going to get rid of them. Because I don't need that. I need them there. One, two, three, four, like that. Then I'm going to corridor them up to there. And then I can put something in between there. What have we got? Minimum crew of 10, recommended crew 18. I've got 12 crew, so if I just use a berth, put a berth there and there, we should have enough crew. Recommended crew 18, we've got 18 crew. Perfect, right? However, it's not perfect because we. I'm going to get a couple more crew. Ah, I've just out, I'm out, look, I'm out of money. Don't really need that, though, do I? This down the bottom, really? Do I need them? I don't really need that at all because we can go in between everywhere else and just run around. That's better. That's better. Put a corridor in there. And then we want a keel on this thing. So a large keel. Like that. And we're already over budget. What about if we get rid of the engine? Don't need that engine. We're going to have a small engine on the small propeller on the back there. One little thing. Hello. There we go. Still, We're still over. I'm going to have to get rid of them then. Put two cannon on the front. Uh, recommend a crew 15. Actual crew of too many. So we'll get rid of that one there. We have more crew than recommended. That's good. We have our bridge. Do we have a bridge? We do have a bridge. It's up there. That is... Is that a medical bay? I can't remember. Did I put a sick bay in? I think that is not a sick bay. What is that one? I think that's a... I think that's... What is that? I don't know what that was that I've just got rid of. Might have been a repair bay. Yes, it was a repair bay. Right, there we go. That is fine. What's that bit there? Ooh, whatever it was, I've got rid of it. Uh, no ammunition. Yeah, that's that's problematic. Yeah, we should probably put that back in. That was a... That was obviously some sort of ammunition. It was a... Fire point, quarters, berth, bridge, cockpit, suspendium... Ammo star. There we go. So we need to join up something there, I think. So we'll put a corridor there. And then we're going to put a keel on this thing. Large keel. Just to protect the board. We can't afford it. You know what? We're going to leave it like that, I think. I think I should do is nicely. Right, look, 6,900 and, well, actually, it goes over the cost. It doesn't mean I can't build it. It means I can just plan it and then I can get on with building it later. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm gonna build it how I want this thing to be. So let's just put the corridors in between. There we go. We want a... I think I'm going to get rid of that, that cockpit. Get rid of all the things on the top. I know I'm sort of far around here, but I really want to get this right. There's our quarters in there. And then we can have our corridor going up to the top. And then, actually, we've got too many quarters. I want a medical bay, sick bay there. So right next to the machine shop. And I think we want... Well, we definitely need a bridge, don't we? We need a bridge goes there. There we go. We'll join this up with the corridor. Like that. Is that a corridor as well? It is all corridor. <sighs> oh, that's corridor there. Right. A lot of guns in that. A lot of guns. And that's fine with me. I'm just going to... Do we, couldn't get anything else? Grenades, cannon, rifles. Accurate and cheap, but their weapons cannot penetrate heavy armor. I'm just going to use cannon. Cannon's the way forward. We're going to have a large keel on the bottom. There we go. With a small keel. Just sort of finishing the back bit off there. Oh, we can't. Uh, that will do us. And then armor. We can clad it in steel if we wanted to. I think we're going to clad all this front bit here in steel. Like that. Because that's the bit that's going to be shot. Actually, technically, it just... It blasts... Oh, you know what? We're going to clad the lot in steel. 
just the way it's gone. Just, just the way this thing. It's just how it works. Don't know why we've got like this, but we have. There we go. Full of steel. It's the HMS Vindictive. We're going to save that, and we're going to save it as HMS Vindictive, right? So we're just going to cancel that, and we're not going to do anything else. We're going to wait because, as you can see on the top left there, we've got. 825 generic credits that's going to slowly go up so i need to wait until we've got enough money and i can build that thing now i can click on dingleton <laughs> and go to build ship and as you can see we've got different ships some of them are standard there you go there's some standard ships in here that's one i made in uh, earlier it is garbage it's not very good because it's it's just not i don't even know if the one i've made now is any good but uh, you know who, who knows anyway as you can see we're getting pluses from cities minus from certain defenses and fleets obviously our fleet is this thing here which happens to have one boat in it not very good really so we should have enough now if i've got to build ship the vindictive there it is that's another ship that comes with the game that one then go build that ship so we are building the hms vindictive nice let me have a sip of beverage ah, today's beverage is lemon tea but this game is um let me speed up to max speed there we go can I speed up to max speed? Yeah, there we go. And we'll pause it. Uh, we've got normal speed. Yeah, the game is uh, single player at the moment, but I believe multiplayer and such is... Uh, it might even be half Im implemented-ish, but it's... Uh it is, you know, I believe it is planned as well, if not uh, in at a weird uh, state already. As you can see, the different nations are attacking each other, so anyway, that's not cheap guns minus 30% rifle. I need to take them over to get different things, so that gets fire extinguishers if we take them over. So I'm going to take them over, I'm going to invade them. Here we go, so my fleet's going to move along, and we are going to assault them. So, combat setup, that's their boat there, that, that's their main ship, this is mine over here. Now as you can see, this is the ceiling, this guy's ceiling is not very good because remember, we didn't, we only put one of the suspendium reactor things on it. So it's not great, it's quite slow, and it can't fly very far, in fact, to be honest with you, it's more like a sand crawler that just happens to fly. Anyway, we're going to click go, and then we're going to start fighting. So as you can see, we can see inside our ships, and we will start pulling trigger, and since I've got all these cannons, they will pretty blast straight through as you can see look at that they've only got wood so they're not lasting long we have different orders as well and I'm going to move this towards them like that and obviously it's not going to be very fast because we have a really really small hole <laughs> that thing's just come down and crash I'm just <laughs> I like that it falls down and I just come along yeah no problem bam 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 no problem just sort of blast through it just ram into it anyway we're gonna move that's moving towards there this one's gonna move and obviously it'll be a lot faster there we go we can also activate... Oh, and just put this on rapid fire as well. See if we can keep firing away. Now, how, how, how are we doing? I don't know if we're doing alright. We've got some fires, but obviously we've got these guys on fire watch. If that reactor drops, that uh, surge, the surge... Oh, there we go. Our, our suspendium's dropped out, which isn't good. So hopefully we can just keep repairing. Yeah, we'll be back. You know what? I am going to actually ground the ship. There we go. We'll ground it. That's not good. That's not good. It just dropped to the deck and all the guns have been lost. So, this ain't good at all. We're going to move that guy down to there. Um, I think we might... We might lose this one. We might lose this one. Look at them. They're firing their little guns. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's not lasting long. So, this ship's really good. Uh, if, if we had if we had people... or oh, guns on it. Victory, though. There we go. Victory. So, that ship's wrecked. So, we'll... Pillage, brutal, or gentle takeover? We're going to do a gentle takeover. Oh, there we go. So, lost HMS Vindictive. It's gone. It's it's dead, right? I mean, that that's fair enough. Uh, it, it wasn't very good in the first place. So, we could, if we wanted to, go here. And we've got to create ships. We can actually load, I believe, open a ship, the Vindictive. There we go. We'll load that. And we'll load... Oh, open? Open. Cancel. Can we not open it? Can we not open it? Vindictive. Can't open it for some reason. I don't know whether that's right now. Can you, is that delete? Yeah, that's delete, yeah. Not too sure why I can't open that. Might be uh fault of my own there. But anyway, might, it might be because I can't afford it. Or there might be something else that I'm not noticing. I've played maybe an hour of this game, maybe. I think about an hour, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Not a great deal. Enough to sort of get the very basics down. Anyway, we're doing a gentle takeover here. Going to bring that back to there. What we're going to do, we're going to build ship. We're going to build... We could build another vindictive. What else could we build? Whoa, look at that. The Satan. Let's build a Vindictive. I'm going to build that. So I, I'm still convinced. I'm convinced that that might work. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the last one. So I'm going to see if we can get it. Uh, 
so see if we can get that uh, sorted out. Anyway, as you can see, taking over different things will give us you know, the, you know, will give us different tech, so heavy cannon, computers, telescopes. Really excited to see what happens with this. Um, obviously, the, the it, it's a very simple like game in terms of its looks. It's very very basic. Uh, not my cup of tea. I must be honest. I uh, I prefer a little bit more. But it, it's you know I'm more about the gameplay than anything else. But uh, maybe it might be a little bit too basic for my own taste but you know it works you can see exactly what's happening and such and uh, obviously very early on development and such anyway we've got a little bit of money here what i might do is actually build uh build another vindictive do i have enough money not yet let's put it up to max speed we're going to build a vindictive there we go build and oh they've actually attacked me that's not good and it was my it was the other area so i'm gonna have to click go and guess what defeat because I've got nothing there so that was my fault you can see that over there that was uh, oh, Dingleton's not the town name sorry it's my air it's my like sort of faction name or whatever yeah it looks like they've taken over that which is not good so guess what I'm gonna invade them again uh, whoa no 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 cancel 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 move to there because they're coming towards me look oh that would be bad right mate you're gonna you're gonna get it now so combat setup oh my good there's that me oh that's me I was gonna say that can't be them so this is me. I've got this ship back here, so I'm going to bring it there. I'm going to bring that back to... Oh, I can't bring it to there. Look at this. They're so low in the water <laughs> that I can't move them any further. But look, I've, I've got loads of standard defense as well. So I've got loads of defense in this thing. But uh, it depends whether or not we can, we can get them, obviously, with the height. I don't think I'll be able to shoot up there. But these guys will. No target available. Nah, not really. There we go. We're firing underneath. I'm going to get this guy to move over to here. There we go. These guys are firing. These are not. I'm going to move them back over like so. And this is going to do the same thing. Move to about there. And hopefully we'll start getting some fire in this. And then we're going to activate rapid fire. And activate rapid fire. I don't know what the aimed firing thing is. But I, guess, I guess you'll hit better. And uh, there we go. That's actually trying to maneuver. Which it is successfully doing. I'm just going to back these guys up. I think this is not going to go well. Because that might drop any second. I'm going to move this over to there. Actually, I'm going to flip it to there. Move that to there and flip it to there again so we don't get landed on. But we turn it round. I can see these are out of ammo, no target. Not under command as well because we've lost our main bunker there. But we are firing in the back now, which is good. Uh, can we move that guy closer? I think we might be able to. But we need to move that guy back as well. Looks like these are working. We are chopping straight through them. Look at that. They're, oh yeah, that's bad. That's bad for them. Yeah, I don't think I've. Yeah, I think I've won this one. <laughs> Come on, lads, take the take. Oh, good grief! That's actually run out of. It's actually run out of um, run out of ammo. Look, we've both we've run out of ammo for most of this stuff. So I think I'm just gonna ram it. Ram it. There we go. There's one bit down. Yeah, they're gone. Victory. <laughs> that was a bit ropey that. Anyway, so we've lost HMS Vindictive. Wow, is that because I've run out of ammo? That's a bit weird, isn't it? So, I managed to defend that. Oh, and they're attacking again. Not good. Not good. This isn't good. Quickly, build defences. My defences, I'm going to be uh, rebuild. There we go. Rebuild it. Uh, no, no, cancel, cancel. I don't want to do that. Okay, I want to build from template. Watchful turret. Yeah, we'll build another one. Mm. Which way is it going to be? There? Yeah, there we go. Constructing. Right, leave it. And hopefully they can build it in time. They can't. Damn it. So now I'm going to verse that same ship we've just versed, but with almost no help. This is not going to be good. Not under command, so I can't issue orders to these things. And they've got cannon. And oh, it's going all so badly. <laughs> um, let's put these on aimed fire and see if we can get some better shots in it. Now, obviously, they are made of wood, so I am, I am starting to damage them a bit. And if I move this back, I might be able to get a bit more. I might be able to win this if just just by accuracy, but I don't know. Oh, that's not good. You can see that's fire. You can hear that. So we are on aimed fire, so we're not firing as often, but hopefully we'll be getting some hits. We are definitely getting hits. You can see people walking in between them, uh, in between the area, but they do have cannon, and that's out of ammo. That's got no target. Ah, this is not good. Let me move that back over. See if we can get them towards us. Can they get, are they going to get closer? Or are they just concentrating on firing against the divider? I think they are. That's under fire. 
These are out of ammo. Oh, this is not good. They're firing, though, and that's no target. You know what? I'm just going to move closer. Actually, I'm going to move there. See if I can get underneath them. Victory. I think they've run out of ammo. Defeated. They haven't taken me over. Or... Oh. You know what? Mm, that's fine. Right. So they were defeated, so they're now fleeing. They are fleeing. I now have some defense in there. Good. Right. Let me also... Let's go to defenses again. And let's uh, <laughs> build from template. I want, a, I want a black tower. Look at that. Look at the defense on that. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I can build one of them because that'll help me, you know. Oh, God, they're coming back straight for me again. Why me? I've not done nothing. I've only taken that over and then they defended it straight off. Oh, bunch of fat heads. Right, we're going to have to defend again. Here we go. Same thing again. Combat set up. Move that back here. I do have another gun, though, which is okay. So, anyway, we'll call that a day. Click go. Put it on more accurate fire. Or are they already on it? I don't know, but as you can see, I've got that there now. No command, though, so I can't issue any orders. So it is just a case of doing the same thing. Rinse and repeat here. Speed the action up to max speed. I'm not going to flee, because that would probably can't, that would probably make me lose the game, which I have not yet done. I think I'm running out of ammo. Yes, I am. Come on, take their boat out. Come on. Move it to there and flip it round. Go, 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 go. Victory. Right, again, they've run away. Run away. So they're going to flee. Yeah, they are. So, once they're in again, I see what they're going to do. They're going to keep fleeing, probably repairing the boat again, and keep doing that. So I'm max speeding it out now. Well, not max speed. But that speed will do. They're coming back again. Okay. You can tell Alpha Game is off here. Let me just put a black tower in. The black tower. And we're going to put it in there. All right. So that should hopefully kick their ass. If I can get that built in time, things will be great. I'm not going to get it built in time, am I? No. Right. Again, move it to there. Different plan this time. You know what? No, not, not different plan. Same plan, because it works. Go. Max speed it. Just tell them to keep firing. And once I've got this black tower in, that guy's going to meet some cannon death, and he's going to be feel the pain. Oh, sounds like my bridge. Looks like my bridge was hit there. Because, as it oh, I think that thing's gone. Not under command. Yeah, that thing's gone. I've lost my ship. Hopefully, that'll be taken out, though. Victory, yes, I have just taken out. Only just, though. Right. So, I've lost that. I have lost it. Good news, they're not coming for me now. That is good. Let me create a ship. Because I'm Oh, not create a ship. Sorry, I want to cancel that. Yes, I do want to cancel. I want to build a ship. And we're going to build... That one. The toad. Toad looks good. I'm going to build a couple of them, and we'll see if we can do some attack. But I think you get what the game's about. I mean, I, I, I only just attacked this one there and then had to retreat back, but obviously taking over different areas and building your ships and stuff, it's quite, it's a very interesting concept. Don't think it's anywhere near that you could call it like, well, obviously it's, it is in development and such, but I don't think it's in a state where you could really say, oh yeah, that's everything's nailed down. But um, in terms of, you know, where, where you actually build an airship, you build some sort of flying vehicle with cannons and then go and fight and build defences and that sort of thing. I really like that the, you know, you can take off different areas to get different tech. Would love to see things like a tech tree and all that sort of stuff. Very, very good concept. I just really hope it actually uh, is followed through. Anyway, I think we will leave it there because you probably get the idea and I don't really know what uh, much more. I don't really know what else I can show you really. Oh, look at that. This is not going to go well for me. I'm going to lose this. Look at that. My rubbish little ship here. And look at all them. They've got a lot of defense, and it's all stone as well. I wonder if they can hit their own ship. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, links are in the description for you to check it out. Uh, you can give it a go. Like I say, it's, uh, it's interesting. I, 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 like with every early access game, I would never give it a, any sort of blanket recommendation or anything like that. I think it's very interesting and something to keep an eye on. You might want to partake in it now and obviously help fund uh, development and things like that. But you can check it out yourself and all that. Thank you very much for watching. Comments in the comments and generic partings.